Hello, my loves. We are going to dive into a pick a card reading for you. I love saying it that way. It just really just, I don't know, y'all. It's just, it just naturally comes out. Like, I can't help it. Just, but yeah, we're going to do three piles, okay? All of my readings are timeless. Uh, if you are interested in working with me privately, um, dreamhousebylily.com that is in the description box go ahead and check it out y'all I did some feng shui on my prices and let me tell you your girl feels free <laughs> your girl feels so free okay so that could be significant for just kind of like the collective energy as we're going into this pick a card reading collective freedom I really feel I'm really y'all y'all I got my love decks okay I got love so don't y'all get mad at me all right <laughs> Don't get upset. I got love. We're going to talk about it, okay? But we're just going to do a general next. Um, actually, let's do... No, I started at 24. We're going to do 24. We're going to do 24. Like, I, I like 24. I think y'all like 24. You can let me know. Like it, okay? So we're just going to start with Pile 1, okay? Pile 1, your next 24 hours. Uh, it feels very exciting. I mean, despite what card, like, flips out. <laughs> I feel like you may have to let okay interesting okay I feel like somebody kind of was like casting an illusion over you I feel like there's people that aren't playing for this team that they appear to be playing on um it could be that there's some people that got their money tied up in places that um just aren't really benefiting you at this time, pile one. Um, and I, I feel like that's significant here because this three of swords, even though it's coming out in the reverse, this um, beautiful locket looking thingy on here looks to be of some type of value. So it could be this next 24 hours, your value is going up. It could be that there's some type of territory that is <laughs> that's being claimed for you, Pile One, I feel like the Two of Wands is really bringing you more ease. Um, something about this, uh, how she's balancing here on this card, it kind of feels like maybe things have been out of balance, things have been out of whack for you lately. Here is the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So it could be, um, yeah, I'd be talking about this. Um, maybe some of you guys are battling with the algorithm. This could be, um, ads maybe listen they say you got to pay to play but then sometimes you don't always have the money to pay to play so this could be that um oh oh some of y'all been here for a while pile one oh y'all in for a treat boozy y'all are in for a treat so pile one um i think i did that reading in sagittarius okay these are the readings that were um that were um blasted from the internet honey <laughs> somebody sent me an energy blast to like delete all of my stuff but nothing's ever really deleted so here we go scared any to rewind so i did a sagittarius reading that was talking about an unusual amount of traffic really driving traffic you may just have to do this in whatever way fits your budget and i feel like by you doing that pile one is helping you to get get back excited again now those that's for those of you guys who specifically are doing something online now here with this queen of pentacles energy this could just be this next 24 hours like you're feeling more comfortable in your skin i feel like feeling more comfortable in who you are i definitely feel like there are people that want to treat you um i also feel like here for pound one don't push away attracting a sponsor or attracting a provider because i do <laughs> feel like honey there is a lot of people that are emotionally invested in you of course it is. My bad, y'all. There's a lot of people emotionally invested in you. And I feel like at this time, um, that, that energy is there to bring out some uh, great reward. It could be that here with this Ace of Cups, some financial assistance. Hey, some of you guys, I feel like your your uh, I feel like your spirit team is breaking. Um, Sometimes this could be some type of ancestral. Um, tug or blockage or um rope interesting um not okay this could be a not spell that was done on your finances this could be somebody um now somebody could be getting knocked up hopefully we just you know we keeping it <laughs> hopefully um 
This is, you know, hopefully you guys are engaged. You're getting married, okay? We don't need to, we don't need to, we don't need to create no more generational stuff that we already got going on, okay? Um, now we do have elemental fire here, elemental earth, elemental water, elemental air. I mean, pretty much just got all the elements pretty much here. So it does feel like the elemental energies is very heightened for you. Oh, wow. Here, maybe some of you guys here in pound one wanting to go into nursing. Now nursing, I know I have nursing career to practice your magic, but I, when I first made this, I thought I meant like actual nursing, but it could be just something that you are nurturing. Um, nursing is a very nurturing field. Healthcare is a very nurturing field. It could just be the energy of a healer. Okay. Uh, here in Pound One, maybe you are a healer. Maybe you're activating your healer gifts and abilities. Okay. Oh, all right. I guess we don't have time to delay or time to tarry. Okay, pile one. So your next 24 hours, I feel, ooh. <laughs> I feel like something is bending in your favor. I feel like people are really trying to, um, it could be that somebody has been doing some type of energy work to get you to bend over, um, wanting you to submit to their will. Uh, submit to their desires. We have gives consolation and ad adversity, transformation, eight of cups, okay? This could be somebody, to listen, that you're just deciding that you want to part ways with at this time. And by you emotionally parting ways with them, pile one, here with the two of cups is actually allowing a lot of more of your desires and manifestations to come into fruition. Uh, it says provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God, okay? I feel like don't let anybody challenge your belief systems at this time. Don't let anybody challenge how you believe in faith, divine, spirit, a y. Listen, y'all, the I... <laughs> I know some people may like laugh because I be laughing at myself sometimes. But since I've been saying a while, your girl sees the sees Earth move differently, um, and it's not to be funny. It's just like you know sometimes these names don't sound like. I don't know if anybody ever feels like that here in Power One. Like sometimes the names that we're given to say stuff don't feel like the natural language. You know who used to showcase this a lot. Um, Milkshake brings all the boys to yard. Um, I'm gonna need a milkshake today because the way today is going is <laughs> yeah, okay. Um Khalise, uh over on social media, uh she has a brand. This isn't like marketing or nothing like that, y'all. I'm literally just talking about how in her videos that she's sharing on social media, she speaks about the original names of certain places. Basically, she's saying, like, you know, just <laughs> Something else that like white people change the name or something like that. So I love that. I love that for you, pile one. Okay. I feel like there's something y'all feel skeptical today. What's wrong? Who told y'all I was scary? They don't watch Monsters Inc. <laughs> y'all want to watch, y'all want to watch a movie to prepare for the next 24 hours? Watch Monsters Inc. Because listen. <laughs> Okay, they got kicked out of school and they did perfectly fine for themselves. Like, it's a uh, honey. Sometimes I feel like, you know, we could be Disney princesses, but we like to pop over to Pixar every once in a while. That could be significant. Okay, so next 24 hours for pile one. Let's, um, let's see what's going on. Take my mind. That song always come out every time I get ready to talk about love. It could be that there is someone taking your person's money. This could be someone taking your money here with this five of earth, leaving you guys in this energy of like having to thrift. Scorpio in the reverse could be significant here. Um, <laughs> what's reverse of Scorpio? Oh, Taurus. No, that's opposite. Well, opposite is Taurus and Scorpio, but I feel like reverse. This could be some eighth eighth house energy that's retrograde. This could be Pluto that is retrograde. Um, this could be Scorpio that's retrograde. It could also be in um an activation that's needed here. Pile one, some type of cleansing. It could be that um this Scorpio eighth house energy is needing more attention this next twenty four hours. Uh, because it feels like your spirit team wants you to do some like. This may not be for everybody, but I feel like some of you guys like your your. This may be like a project or an assignment. I feel like the <laughs> expect to see like an explosion and like 
but oh, what? What are y'all? What are we transmitting? Expect to see an explosion in like paid projects. This could be like paid, or this could be something. Okay, so y'all know how like on Pinterest, right? The girlies when they're manifesting things. Um, so say like you know, there's a vision board for love. Like there's not just one picture. It could be like a, a collage of pictures that could be significant here. Um, but also say like the girlies. The well, not just the girlies, but the guys and the girlies. And honestly, shout out to the CEOs too because. <laughs> I feel like sometimes we can put too much emphasis on like, oh, let's just manifest from this little girly. Like, you know, like, I don't know. I I don't know who's here. Maybe somebody is trying to get you to like manifest differently by one. Because it's something like, I don't know. It's like, y'all know how they had a thing on Pinterest where it'd be like sale after sale after sale after sale. But this doesn't feel like it's repetition. Thank you. Why can't y'all say that before? Got me going around and it's okay. Repetition. It could be repetition is bringing out different results. Well, y'all know they say the definition of like the doing the same thing over and over again is like the definition of insanity. But like we are in very mad time. So I feel like your spirit team is saying, hey, uh, Mercury and Taurus, like whatever difficulty or lack or no way out you've been dealing with pile one, it's not the, I feel like it's not the end of the road. It's the beginning of a new road for you to do something different. It's almost like your spirit team really wants things to be done differently, not just to you, but for you, especially those of you guys that are um, in love. Y'all hear me say a lot, like Scorpio energy, you literally think y'all, y'all could like not talk for three days and it'd be like oh no like I'm so obsessed with my man or I'm so obsessed with my lady like where do they go so I don't know expect something very unexpected <laughs> I'm just cutting up pride is a barrier to my girl damn that pride thing okay pound one let's see Leave the past behind us. Afraid you'll abandon me. Trust your power has really been showing its 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 little its little big face lately, and I'm definitely here for it. Okay, so listen, power one next twenty four hours. I feel like trust in the power of yo. You know, I feel the need to say like trust in the power of your divine masculine, trust in the power of your divine feminine. Like I'm getting back to saying that because like I feel like there's such like I don't know there's something there's something changing about like the way people are experiencing feeling energies and i feel like your spirit team don't want doesn't don't want doesn't want you to block it out necessarily as something that would be toxic to your to your existence i hope that makes sense okay we're gonna pull one from here this is another one of those new beautiful cards that was um new beautiful cards beautiful cards we're just gonna get one very akashic record oh we got oh oh look at that frog oh the ace of hearts oh we're gonna talk about this one <laughs> not this coming out about one oh <laughs> oh some of y'all trying to get converted and or some of y'all trying to come to the uh come to the dark sides Okay, I mean, like, not for real, y'all be weird, but like, okay, so the two of diamonds, first of all, I feel like there's something getting shut down about some type of like stepping out or like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like there's an energy right now in your love universe where people are trying to step out and get you to um, maybe submit to, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's a lot of energies that are like trying to dominate you to get you to submit. I don't know. Pluto here. I feel like Pluto here really wants you to decide in the next 24 hours. Do you bring the energy of submission? Do you bring the energy of control? Do you bring the energy of possession into your relationships? Or to I honestly even feel like this could be a relationship that you have with certain deities, entities. Um, yeah, some of y'all may ha even have to have a relationship with the entity the next 24 hours because it really feels like somebody is trying to get you to obey um obey a request or maybe obey a demand that's going to actually 
make you weaker in the eyes of the spirits that you're supposed to be working alongside with. Interesting. It's almost as if like somebody could be trying to like taint and convolute the relationship that you have with your spirit teams, spirit team. Could be that there's an unexpected friend, um, maybe even a nature witch that is coming into your existence, pile one, well, existence, coming into your universe that is showing, I don't know, it seems like somebody here is really kind. You have a very charitable spirit and heart, like really lack of fear, but it's like, I feel like people have really just been trying to like dehumanize you or like really just like at your throat in a very like <laughs> froggy way. Oh, maybe somebody, maybe somebody is doing a froggy shit. Oh, this was an interesting. Y'all, like that was some of the stuff that I just was like reading from the book, but I think I have an idea of where me and that deck are gonna be going in the near future. And I think it's really gonna be exciting. Okay. All right. So pile two, we're going to start out with your next 24 hours, pile two. Ooh. Oh, bang, bang. I feel like there's some type of duel. Okay, pile two, what have y'all been watching? Okay, I feel like there's some type of duel that's taking place the next 24 hours. And I feel like a very unlikely one is going to win. Um, Magician, seven heart. I feel, okay, so this may sound silly or maybe not. I don't know. But here, pile two, I feel like whatever is in competition with you is starting to bow. Um, something about this magician just feels like um, now is not a time to really just try to like, oh, I was talking about this in a reading, y'all, like how people just like, oh, my wand is bigger than your wand, like type shit. Like, okay, if you are powerful in all being and all knowing, you could should know that I don't give a fuck. That's what this feels like, pile two. Like the next 24 hours, like this magician energy is like your intelligence, your purpose, literally the mental resources that are being bestowed to you rapidly, darling. It listen, I, I may sound like I don't really know how to sound like a mean girl, y'all, but I think it kind of like works sometimes. But I may sound like a mean girl when I say this, but it's just kind of like your spirit team is like, okay, let's keep it moving. Like, let's keep it rolling. Like here, now we have this energy of the seven of water. It could be that there was something that somebody was trying to make it seem like, oh, that's not going to be good for you, pal, too. And your spirit team is like, oh, wait, hold on. It's not that it's not going to be good for you. It's just, hey, maybe if you're using your imagination, it could come out in a dangerous way. It can come out in a helpful way. Um, that could be something that you guys are dealing with here. This temperance and lovers combo is wild because I don't know if somebody here is having like um, like a, cel a celestial like timeline, emotional balance. Or this could be something that's like battle of the bands, like <laughs> it just feels like two very it's like one wants to dominate and one wants to submit now this love okay hold on if this is love and you're a man watching this and there's two women in your universe and there's one that's being dominant and there's one that is being a little bit more because it feels like there's somebody being dominant and aggressive and there's somebody being more affectionate, more generous, more connected. Um, it could be even in the past, hey, it could be at one point, maybe this person brought you peace. It could be maybe this is somebody new, pal, too, um, in terms of love. It could be somebody new bringing you more peace, bringing you more healing, helping you aspire to create deeper philosophy for yourself. Pal, too, really feels very deep. Like um, Talisman Brew might be a subliminal channel that you guys like and I really keep trying to repeat it so I can keep reminding myself to go over there because <laughs> when I close out the reading like all of a sudden I end up somewhere else but I'm telling y'all 
here in pile two, there's some things that you just have to detox from your mind. I promise you, like in this next 24 hours, like I really feel like you're seeing your universe like mirror in a different way. Also, I feel like you've quantum, somebody here, you've either quantum leaped or you've quantum shifted, or it could be that a lot of the things that I'm talking about here has quantum um, blasted you into, I feel like, a timeline where you may need to, hey, be in the energy of the magic. You may not really have time to, I feel like you may not really even have time to like meddle with other, the things that's making other people sick or maybe the thing that's the things that's making other people bored. Oh, okay. So here in pound two, this could kind of be like an energy, like, okay, do you have a plan on how to do things? Like it could be that you're maybe battling with a lot of people that don't have plans or you have plans or people's plans. It just seems like there's a whole lot of like celestial collision here. And not of it, not a lot of it is celestial energy. So this is where I say, like lately, I've been going back to very, very basic astrology. Um, sometimes, if any of you guys are astrologers, whether you are beginner, immediate, and or advanced, sometimes it is good to just kind of go back to that portal of like, okay. Well, here in this instance, like the lovers and temperance, that's Gemini and Sagittarius energy. Sometimes it can be one in the same energy, and then sometimes it can really not because sometimes it's like. Um, the elemental fire can be a little bit more disruptive, a little bit more rushy if it doesn't have a creative um, outlet. You know, elemental air can be mentally restless. It can, its mind can go into a thousand pieces. It could be that somebody just mentally is trying to get you into a thousand pieces. Maybe you're supposed to be on a thousand planets. Ah. But here with the four of cups and the ten of cups, this next 24 hours, I feel like there is... Um, much harmony to be sought after. And I feel like your ancestors want you to continue to seek out things that make you feel harmonious, pile to. Because now is a time in a cycle where you can easily get swept under and lose everything overnight. Okay, so I'm seeing, listen, if this is your story, I hope the anxiety that is going through your mind relaxes you and you, you hit my cash app, okay? So y'all know how like people go, say big, you know, go out, have a drink with the guys or maybe a drink with the girls or this could be you go on a trip or, you know, go like, I feel like, I don't know what kind of moves you're trying to make here in Pound 2, but I feel like your spirit team is just like, just hook, just halt, just for a, just halt for a second. Make sure those are moves that you really need to be making this next 24 hours because you are in position where you can lose everything overnight or you can either gain everything overnight this is very 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 <laughs> interesting energy to be in okay and i can see how it can make one very anxious or anxiety ridden because i feel like here with this uh nine of swords you do feel very um anxious right now okay so here let's get Synastry love match. Okay, so we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be some synastry syn there with those particular signs. Okay, Pal 2, I also feel like you are really limiting yourself. And I feel like the knowledge that you bring to the collective, like I'm not sure whose message that is, but it could be that people... um may need to just do some uh okay so y'all know how like people cover their crown so ladies protective styles really being conscious of like what you're putting on your head what you're putting in your head yeah Woo. ha who you yeah, saying yeah Baby, you know what I felt from this right quick y'all know how Nikki song should be like y'all are my sons I this is the first time I ever felt like I understood what she meant. And y'all <laughs> Okay, itty bitty piggy days. Okay, that's when I became a barb, y'all. Uh and yes, I pay Apple. Baby, listen, I had a I had I had to tell y'all about this. I had a, a download the other day. Like I'm starting to tell when stuff be like the psychic attacks or things to try to like fuck your head up. Because I was like, 
who is sending me all these beans? I'm a barb. And then I was hearing something like, you're not a barb. And I'm like, who's listening to me this closely that they're trying to torment me? And then I'm like, wait a minute. Are y'all trying to make it seem like I'm a barb because I ain't been to a concert? But we pay Apple <laughs> every month. Honey, that's that's a creed of the Apple users. We be paying Apple even when we don't want to pay Apple. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, yeah, because they definitely snuck up on me. It could be, hey, listen, this this authority. Let me see what it say in the car, honey, because breaking cycles. Listen, that's why this is here. Some of you guys, like, what what's going on in my life? <laughs> What's good? You breaking cycles. Ooh, baby, I love this deck. I'm glad we came to the party today. <laughs> I don't know. Let me go and get that love. <laughs> Let me go and get that love. I don't know. Like, here in Paso, I feel like somebody real mad that they just got to, like, it's like they, I'm telling you, if somebody's been doing bend over rituals on you, you just bent them over or something, or somebody's gonna bend you over. I don't know. Okay, y'all. So I feel like what's most important is the six of diamonds, just because like that just really comes out like entirely too much. And the six of diamonds is tied to certain types of uh careers. So it could be that pile to like you have you have I feel like somebody here, you've always had the courage to do something first. But now, like, I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of negative cycles that you're coming out of. This could be people like watching your movements or or there's something very predictable about your energy because it has to be predictable. Like I'm saying that this when we use in this type of deck. This is my, so over here on Patreon, this is where we'll probably be using this deck and that more advanced planetary ritual spell word, like things that just can't be rushed and the humans don't understand that. <laughs> okay, they don't understand that when you are breaking a cycle, yeah, you're going to experience growth, honey. Oh, is this what the problem is? How to remix words now? <laughs> when you are breaking cycles, healing from trauma, Healing from trauma. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, oh, somebody's doing some type of work on you, pal, too, to bring past lovers back from the dead, whether they are living or crossed over now. This could be somebody trying to do something to disturb somebody's soul and they don't want to be disturbed. Woo. <laughs> I feel like the next 24 hours is going to be juicy. I feel like you got some gifts you've been ignoring. And yo, uh, <laughs> I feel like you got some new friends that's uh, like, yo, <laughs> pal too. <laughs> guess what we don't care what they have to say um we're telling you this is what is getting ready to transpire i honestly don't feel like how soon you really in the energy like your next seven days i i feel like y'all know how the preachers say like your next uh seven days is gonna be better than your your latter like 21 days or something like that like that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gosh. Atonement of errors destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. And you know what's so crazy? Found too, I feel like you're not even on this. So I feel like your ancestors is on. Because it's like that judgment energy with all the retrogrades that we have going on. Yeah, those are the people that are in their homes self-reflecting. That's at work thinking about, you know, is this what I want to want to do? Or do I want to do something else? That's those of y'all in business. That's like, hey, there's money out here to be made. It's circulating around. Um, I, you know, just make sure you're protecting yourself online. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Look protection i was saying that nine of wands it's like okay the more that you focus on protection pal to the more all oh, prevents discovery of secret crimes y'all there was something i was talking about people be feeling like they're getting exposed 
Oh, honey. Oh, God seeing everything, my loves. Yeah, it just kind of feels like maybe your angels are here for restitution. Finding stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. Pal, too, I'd have to say your next 24 hours might actually be a very breathtaking experience for you. And I'm going to do that beautiful thing that I do, you guys, where I find myself taking a small little break. Okay, before I go ahead and dive into pile three, because I just feel like it is going to be such an experience because the first two piles were that much of an experience. Um, I do feel like a closing message here for pile two is I feel like you consistently are battling envy, jealousy, and enemies. Um, I feel like this is that dualistic part of that lover's energy that's very challenging because in one hand you can completely ignore it and alchemize it and elevate it but then on the other hand it seems like you have to mention it or you have to uh, address it or it's like being addressed more frequently to the point where it's like you aren't being conquered anymore because i feel like you're being shown who to trust who not to trust um i feel like now is not really a time for you to let your guard down okay i feel like especially if you're trying to make some money and i'm just keeping it real with myself and i'm keeping it real with y'all like i mean this is where the dislike comes in, but also this is where the opportunity comes in. I feel like it's some, um, baby, I feel like it's some people rooting for you. You, I, I don't even think you'd be surprised at the room that you would be walking into, pile two. It's like you'd be surprised at what you would feel by walking into those rooms. You know, I, <laughs> I think what I'm trying to describe is what... I knew that my graduation from undergrad should have been, should have been, but it wasn't that. Um, now, in the influencer spaces, <laughs> I think I felt that, um, I think I really felt that like for the first time when I saw a, uh, my face change using uh drunk elephant products like it was in that moment that i really started to believe that okay not everybody out here on social media is scamming trying to try people like anything like that not everybody in the world is jealous envious evil angry out of balance like there are some people here that are very much so in levels of peace i feel like peace that your spirit team need you to experience pal too so you can be that to other people it's like i don't know it's something about you are too out of balance or something in your universe is too out of balance to the point where it needs to be balanced for you first and as soon as it's balanced for you first then it'll be balanced um for other people so you may be um here in pal two uh parents ceos owners you may be the one that got to sign the important papers. Listen, I you know who I know. <laughs> you know who I know going through it right now? The people that drive those vans with the money in it. Baby, I can only imagine what they're going through. Okay, because I, I don't watch too many movies from the old time to know that History, yes, it does repeat itself, but if you can catch it, then yeah, that's how you create a new timeline. There you go. You're welcome. That is um <laughs> a little free preview of what advanced planetary um energy cleansing is. Okay, I gotta change my words because you know it's <laughs> I'm just trying to crucify you, girl. Okay. So pile two. I also want to close out with a money thing because I'm just feeling something very special here in pile two. Y'all come over there and um connect with me on Instagram. I I don't care how many TikTok portals I can pull into, y'all. I I prefer <laughs> Instagram. And it's because of what I was 
manifesting with Instagram on my old portfolio. Okay. Oh, look, $3,000. Okay. There's that closing message. Toodles. Hello, pal three. We are going to pop into your next 24 hours. Okay. So I went to, I took a break after pal one and pal two. I went to go eat. Okay. I did some cleaning because I was just, I don't know how to like, <laughs> really like start cleaning and scrubbing things down. Um, Really just doing some behind the scenes work. So if I'm kicking off this pile, pile three, listen, and it's 24 hours, your spirits and your ancestors, they back on your line, baby. Like we got to get offline again. We have to get behind the scenes again. This could be that you have some type of, um, excuse me, project that you're needing to complete. It could be that you're coming. Ho oh, ho, you ah. Okay, next 24 hours. I feel like if anybody is catching this before Mercury goes into Gatorade, then I feel like when, when Mercury goes into Gatorade, it is going to be a time of massive elevation for you, pal three. Wow. I feel like someone's bored, or maybe you're just a little sick and uncomfortable with where you are presently at in life, or this could be um, someone's energy towards you. This could even be your energy towards someone else. And I'll say that here, even with the Five of Pentacles coming out, the Eight of Wands, we have 22. That number can be significant for you, pile three. The number four could be significant for you. But I feel like this next 24 hours, what this magician is trying to convey to you is that um, there'll be more gratitude coming in for you. I'm um, here with this magician. I feel like your spirit team is seeing you as some time. What as some type of exalted wizard. It could be that you have certain cravings that you need to... Um, that you need to give into. Um, I feel like here in pile three, um, even if things were in motion for you, I feel like this is just like somebody's trying to cause some energy blockages. You definitely have to get out like the the battle cry. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. It's like here this next 24 hours, maybe you sent out a battle cry, pile three, and like everybody responding, or here here with this uh knave of wands and the fool it could be that there's something very exciting and freeing that is lifting you out of what i don't even really feel like it's a very dark period it could have just been a dark cycle i could have just had like a few days that was off like you know say you okay say you work um full time for an employer, whether that's inside or outside the home. Like say like the whole day I work was great and then you get home and then like everything is off at home. And then that energy like carries over into the next day. It, it sends off the vibration and all that stuff for like the rest of the week. Or say some of you guys, you're more in tune to wanting more peace on your weekends. This could be <laughs> wanting more room and flexibility to, um, this could be travel, to have fun, to experience new things, new opportunities. Uh, some of you guys here in pile three might be, and whether it's a trap or not, it's still gonna benefit me. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> some of y'all might be missing what was happening when I was doing weekend forecast readings. Um, I don't even really remember, I guess. Because <laughs> I just kind of saw it on YouTube. Actually, y'all really want to know the reason. I So I saw it on YouTube, and this is the reason that I think, oh, wow, we got the fool in two different decks. Wow, that's love, too. So <laughs> a lot of eroticism and ecstasy and excitement and exploration. Okay, anyhow. Y'all know the reason I started doing weekend readings? <laughs> I saw it on YouTube and I thought somebody was trying to booby trap me. But then I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. Because like the weekend is when I need to get the most stuff done. And I'm not able to get it done. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, y'all. Like some people be thinking, like, I, I feel like here in Power 3, next 24 hours, what you know is a job for you is your job. Um, I definitely see you coming out of a very, very, very deep period of lack. Like somebody wants you in lack very bad. Like this could be people that if they're not praying on your downfall, speaking on your downfall, they're casting spells. This is just a lot of people just scrambling it feels like pile three 
to keep you in this energy of like uneasiness or uncertainty. It's like you, I feel like are experiencing not more. I'm not going to say more because I feel like if you experience more of something, it's going to kind of alert whatever these little greedy energies are. So the next 24 hours, it could be more like, <laughs> Yeah, it could be more um, mentally directional like you for. OK, so. Here's an example, pile three. How did I get comfortable with telling the world that I cast spells for a living? Like literally like. A whole like long time living. I got to the point where I was so frustrated in with using words that didn't make sense and feeling people being uneasy towards me. Um, Cause I just kind of got to the point where I'm like, okay, if you're going to be uneasy towards me, if you're going to have a problem with me, if you're going to send negative energy, if you're going to create stories in your head, if you're going to do all these little things that um, Mercury ruled being people don't do, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I really don't. And if it, and if they're doing it, it very much so can matter where they have Gemini or Virgo out in their chart. Doing all these little reverse things just just to what not be authentic to not live in my truth so i decided to change it to spells because i'm like no your girl like i affirmations are cool like i like affirmations but i noticed that when i am talking or when i'm channeling um especially even when i'm writing sometimes it comes out in a very rhythmic tone i don't really feel like i was a lyricist in the past life <laughs> but when you have mercury in a profound placements that really help you to funnel and move through the deep parts of your psyche or your unconscious mind. Listen, baby, you always going to be valuable. You're always going to be valuable because you're always going to be learning and evolving. And that's what this feels like, Power 3. It feels like you're learning, you're evolving. You're really ready for something new this next 24 hours with the fool. This could be new energies that's coming to you in your love life. This could be a um, more deeper intimacy. This could be... um. Oh, people are watching you but not following you. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so this could be maybe pound three. Maybe some of y'all are online. Okay. I feel like if people are watching you and not following you, it could be causing some type of disharmony with your um with your romantic life. It could be that there's people sending out like a lot of mixed message mixed messages. It could be people wanting um knocking down your door. It not fit not in the physical y'all it, it's just kind of it seems like this um this metaphor like with this judgment where it's like people are connecting with you this next 24 hours to be a wish a wish granted for you as you are a wish granted to them it feels like this this pluto energy is bringing out an uh the energy shift of like, not just like-mindedness, but it just, it seems like just people who kind of, sometimes it's not even about like-mindedness, y'all. Sometimes it's like, okay, are they thinking about the same things I'm thinking about? Um, and if they are thinking about them, like, okay, is this a lucrative opportunity or is this somebody that's going to stress me out? Is this somebody that's going to drain me? Um, maybe some of you guys are single and you're, you're mingling or meeting somebody this next 24 hours. And this could be maybe some like jitters or anxiety with that. Those of you guys that are in an established relationship, I really feel like, I know this is crazy advice, but the ice machine is telling me that it's safe to say this. I really feel like sometimes when you just reject the the thought pattern or the processes of like your childhood, like it's very crazy to see like different versions of you that start emerging. So it could be here that there's some with this Nave of Pentacles uh, coming out in the reverse. It could be here that you and or excuse me, you and or your person or your lover are ready to, I don't know, it really just kind of like feel, it feels like y'all are ready from some level of excitement that doesn't include moderation. Like I, at the time that I'm recording this, the new moon is in Leo and what that new moon in Leo energy is going to do, not just want expansion, like in the public eye, it's in the private eye because what, like, what is it that like everybody and anything can see everything that you're doing, pile three, if you're not able to, I don't know, kind of like hold up your weight, like walking into rooms or spaces where you know you belong, where you know that you have not just the, um, 
the satisfaction or the the ability to manifest from a very deep euphoric level it's almost like you have this energy that's really dispelling a lot of rivals and hesitations like not just in your personal love life but in your romantic love life as well which probably means why i wanted to use this deck I feel like somebody here, if you feed a particular group of energies, it will be people in that group that will come to um, support you, that will come to elevate you. It, um, Aquarius is all about people, um, you being in the network with the right group of people, people that will respect your boundaries, people that will also push you to new limits and new heights, pile three. And I feel like a lot of the people that you are starting to band with are people who are going to want to push you to new limits to new heights listen this is the fool it's like they're gonna, <laughs> they gonna want you to leap <laughs> when you're not necessarily wanting to leap i feel like there are many many people here with this queen of swords that definitely do want to know what you are thinking that wants to know what you have to say that um i even feel like don't i, I don't know this could be someone this could be none not sure but i feel like there's energies coming this next 24 hours where it's like people being uncomfortable with how you are being restricted financially or maybe Maybe how you are or seeing how dedicated you are to something and being like, hey, you know, um, pile three needs a boost. Like pile three needs a fresh start. OK, so here we have I'm marrying you coming out. There could be some reassurance coming down the pipeline. Yeah, I'm ready to tell you how I feel. Normally when I'm working with this deck, it's for those of you guys who um, one of the partners are a little bit more. <laughs> Look at my voice cracking because I'm nervous. <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna bullshit y'all with how my voice is cracking because I'm so nervous to like admit to the YouTube what this deck really is, y'all. Like when I had, y'all, I, I don't know if somebody like trying to do spell work for me to be disconnected from my decks, but I just be going through some crazy stuff with my own creations. And I kind of got to the point where I'm like, yeah, I know this deck is not... It's not doing, why are these things happening? So those of you guys that are in relationship or partnerships dynamics where there's one energy that's more dominant and one that's more submissive, regardless of the gender roles or the divine archetype classification of like divine masculine, divine feminine, that sort of thing. So I did a reading on Patreon. Um, I use different words, y'all, but I'm trying to be a little bit professional over here on YouTube, okay, because your girl, <laughs> your girl wants to stay in good graces with Google, okay? So when I realized what this was, I just was like, oh, no, 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 I have to free myself. I have to free myself because it's like when there's energy is trying to keep you trapped in something that is not or convoluting. That's the word. Um, I have been feeling like people were convoluting the energies of some of my oracles. That's what they were originally created for. Like the his and her love messages, which I don't have over here. I put it back. I put it back into its um its chamber. It's chamber for cleansing. Oh, that's another thing I got to tell you about. Some of y'all may be led and guided to start building more. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to keep this rolling, baby. Oh, pal three, we're gonna have to get some more decks. I got some, I got some new content that's coming out, but I'm in the lab. I'm doing this next 24 hours. Pick a card readings because it's like I really like to do these to bring balance to people's universes um wow okay i'm really trying to remember <laughs> baby i just saw a manifestation that i i i i i how three thank you thank you thank you for being here thank y'all for rolling with me thank y'all for rocking with me thank you for praying wow i just saw something that like I knew I was manifesting it, but it's y'all know how those manifestations you <laughs> you be like, mm, I don't know if that's gonna happen in this lifetime. That 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 may be a different lifetime, honey. I think I'm wrong. 
Okay, our love is sealed in the astral realms. It could be that you're being guided to build more chambers, um, to close off certain uh energies. I feel like here in Pile 3, if any of you guys are practitioners or mages or wizards, which is it, it could be that your ancestral energies or the deities that you're working with are wanting you to um learn this could be more closed book rituals this could be uh rituals where you are like your altar is not as exposed somebody <laughs> maybe somebody here your altar is exposed you may have a oh oh you know what this could also be too pile three you know how people sell like those little mini traveling altars so if any of you guys have those now some of you may need one some of you guys um i i don't I don't offer that, so use your discernment if you're looking for it, okay, y'all? I just know it's a thing. Um, it could be that you're needing to carry more things with you when you are traveling. Um, yeah, okay. Here in Pile 3, I, I really feel like there's a surfacing of information and opportunities that is really going to release more fear from your love universe. Um, there's definitely some healing that's been taking place here. Uh, there's definitely... <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of work to do, um, whatever work means for you how three this next 24 hours and i feel like do not um i think i talked about this before but i'm gonna repeat it again because it may be one of those timeless messages y'all do not let people um get in your ear about what work means everyone is um everyone is on a different road and some people ain't on a road at all unfortunately some people are very much so on a road to to nowhere pile three or this could be this queen of swords is commanding you this next 24 hours to seek out judgment for yourself, seek out justice for yourself, seek out opportunities for yourself. Really just um, allow, like, I feel like someone here, you may be um, needing to do some work to clear out resistance. Ooh, and negative energies. Because <laughs> it feels like, there is some um, very powerful water magic here that I feel like is bursting you out of I feel like bursting you out of a situation that just it, it's time for it to change. It's time for it to grow. Um it's so crazy this card came out, you guys, because the message in here does say time to get back to work. You've been investing a lot of time and resources on your health. And well-being these days, it has been most helpful, but now you're ready to rejoin the world. Wake up and get moving. Maybe some of you guys are coming off a of vacation. Hey, maybe some of you guys need a little mini vacation in order to regenerate your energies and activate this, this working thing. Because <laughs> it feels like someone here in pile three, like one minute you're stressed, one minute you're overwhelmed, one minute you're in this personal paradise, maybe one minute you're struggling to relax, like maybe one minute you aren't being selfish <laughs> and then maybe the next minute you are. And I don't feel like you're trying to be all over the place, pile three, if you're resonating with this reading. If not, then it may not be for you. Um, I feel like it's because like you're really trying to look within. Um, it could mean, hey, you could be caught up in one of those cycles where it seems like everybody has a word of advice or something to say about your life and your situation. But like your intuition and your principles is really helping you to make the decisions that are right for you. And some of these decisions, baby, they loud. OK, I feel like, honey, some of them come through and they're just like, listen, pile three, if you want to get back on your preferred path, this is what you're going to have to do. Pay attention to the instructions that you're being given, because I feel like this next 24 hours, the instructions that you're being given, Pile 3, are very critical and very specific in order for you to not just quantum jump, not just shift, shift to your best timeline or elevate to your highest timeline, but to stay there. 
this could be permanently. Um, and unfortunately, you know, that comes with maybe leaving a few people behind, maybe leaving a few projects behind. I, I wonder, you know, when you release your past, um, <laughs> sometimes it's not just deep, deep, deep in the past that's holding you back. Sometimes it could be, you know, little wormholes or rabbit holes you find yourself in when you're not feeling at peace with whatever it is that is being funneled to you. And here, I feel like if any of you guys read tarot, I have done an amazing job of finding what feels like 50,000 different meanings and variations of like the cards. Like if anybody's wondering what form of tarot I study, it is thought. Um, now what do I channel? What do I talk about? What do I reference? Sometimes it's a lot of different energies and not to confuse or to throw anybody off, but it's just sometimes some meanings are so repetitive and mundane for somebody that isn't meant to live that type of life. And I feel like you're not meant to live a life that is repetitive and mundane, but benefiting someone else. I hope that makes sense. We got a cash in, $712. And we got a portal, cash in, five, five, five. We are shutting down those money attacks, okay? Cash in, 178000 If there's an exam that you need to study for, pile three, maybe there's an exam that you're putting off. Listen, maybe um, there's an exam that has set you back. Sometimes we're, especially if you're taking tests and you passing tests or you flying through something on the wrong path or the wrong direction, uh, that could be, you know, hindering your manifestation abilities. So really ask yourself this next 24 hours, pile three, like, <laughs> which bucket of decisions makes you the most comfortable about your future? And those are the ones that you are resting in at least for the next 24 hours and see what it brings you. <laughs> Baby, some of y'all here, okay, some of y'all here may be in careers. Y'all may be in society careers, matrix careers as I call them, and that's not fulfilling you. Uh, you know, after working in call centers for so long, I really used to think that I was not ever going to be able to find my voice again. Because I realized I was getting to the point where I didn't want to talk. And I didn't mean just like to the customers. Like I didn't want to talk to my immediate family members. Sometimes I didn't even want to talk to my man. Like sometimes I didn't even want to talk to my children. It just got to the point where I just was so exhausted with using <laughs> my voice at work and off work or before work or in. You know, when you get to the point where you realize that this may make somebody else feel good, but it may not really be making me feel good, you got to start asking yourselves different questions, babe. Okay? Bye.